if you are still thinking that the man is telling right, then you are fool and the man is also scientifically fool. If he is scientist of death or of ghosts then does he know, what happens before death or why people become ghosts or what happens after death? Does he know what happened before Big Bang or what caused Big Bang to explode or what will happen at the total or the ultimate end of universe? But our ancient people know, that is why we have knowledge, okay maybe it could be not correct, but still they know something. Like you notice something special in Brahmacharya but scientists can't still detect that masturbation is a bad thing to do because it is the pleasure center of the body that is not spiritual but is materialistic. And by having Brahmacharya you satisfy your soul not your body. But in opposite you abstract your body from pleasures that's why scientists can't understand what is the main leading role of our guilt if we do it. The soul has its own pleasures but not the pleasures of the materialistic can fulfill it. Soul has got this body for gaining karma or deeds so that it can be happy or sad that will be decided according to karma and masturbation is no karma for the soul. It is the karma of the body. And the karma of the body is ever self-destructing and self-proclaiming. If sex is the most enjoyable pleasure in the world then the animals is also in the throne of enjoying the most amazing pleasure of the world, and that means there is no difference of respect for animals and for the humans right no 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 it is not right. Everybody is saying and also it is written in the Vedas and Shastras it is written that to get human body it is very much difficult and also you also know that in the common sense no one is there other that human who could have infinite enjoyment in this material world. And also it is said in earlier times, people used to less lies than now. More did they have done astral travel and atman exchange. Deeper into the realms of other dimensions, delving into and finding ultimate truths. Heard of many people doing this most of the time in that era instead of using them to find what is happening in the western so they could also convert them into mokshyami. And also hindering their material advancements like Srila Prabhupada did. Now people is also not trying to know, and if it is then very less, and that is also money minded. And the God, even if it is Jesus or Shri Krishna or Allah everybody says that leave all material pleasures and abode to me. And if all the things that are written in the Shastras, Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas will be proved one day. Then imagine what would be the punishments that are all written in it. The heavy and most painful punishments that it is mentioned in them. And also the increasing one after one proving of them is going on in this era. You really do know all this right. 1. The 21 grams experiment. 2. The EEG one where scientists raised the hands of the patients by their own will and then artificially and there was difference. And we are not the dasses of Lord but we are the part of Lord that is made of only experiencing unlimited joy without any sorrow without any tension just enjoy. All the things will the Lord will take care of. He has made his own servants separately but not we. We are the enjoyer of God. That means you really imagine the luck that you have got that you are a part of Him, the Supreme Personality Godhead. Even Yamraj is nothing in front of you, but we as human beings do wrong deeds that really very much diminish our true nature and makes us feel weak against Yamraj. Otherwise, He is not even a single drop in front of your love between you and the Lord. If you love really Lord and don't do bad deeds, then Yamraj is like your small son to be said as described by Shastras. We know Yamraj is also part of Lord, but he has a spiritual duty always that is not very much enjoying like giving punishments but you as a Atman has got the freedom of enjoying with Lord spiritually. And also our ancient people main philosophy was that they don't say false words or lies and they follow it strictly. You know that they had followed Hari name very strictly like really strictly then why would they not follow the lie term and condition strictly and also the words that come to hallucination you know our ancient India was more wealthy and prosperous with both spiritual knowledge and material things but also they invented many scientific things right. So this could be right right? And Darwin also copied his evolution process from our Puranas and Shastras, 
you can find it in the net I know it is related but that doesn't mean he directly has seen all the evolution process to be happening live, but rather he used the evidences that were there after the evolution has been done right. And also there is written that most probably the Kali Yuga will end with acid rain, and also you are seeing most cases related global warming, or with acid rain on the famous Taj Mahal, right this may indicate there is some truth in our ancient knowledge. Like you did all the work of studies very much obediently, yes I do know that you sometimes fail to do work obediently but it is very much less or such cases are impopular but what did you got corona pandemic taking all your schedule and routine off the path and don't think that it will not happen anymore with you, by thinking this will get you in a big trouble of being so much close to AI attack that even God can't save you, because you didn't believe God, right, yes right. You can now have your own understanding that will AI take all the repetitive jobs, maybe some be your favorite and replace it will prompt engineer jobs, or learning the correct prompts for correct inputs as an extra course in the future or the other evil countries of India could use it wrongly or made another wrong version of AI to defeat the youth by media or black hat hackers could use it for making wrong hack codes, SQL injections, Trojan, and viruses. So do more bhakti than karma but don't leave karma as long you have this material body. It's the order of the Lord. Also, the Lord himself says even if of all the religions he says that his maya is very much powerful, now imagine that God who has experiences of hundreds of thousands of devotees, he himself says that maya is so much powerful that means you are nothing like not a even atom of them if compared to their control of their mind. So always have faith in God and also try to find his existence through both scientifically and spiritually but don't ever lose faith in him. That's the main point. Coming to the point of soul existence, if did the soul interacts with light wave particle nature of matter then obviously we would have seen them but we aren't because as per the double slit experiment it suggests that matter has dynamic nature, and for us to see it it has to be having a single nature at all the time at every condition but that is not possible till now but don't think that I will reappear in another lifetime and then see the proof nope because do remember of these three types of things that happens with human life one human is so much binded to the pain of death that he can't think of anything not even his another lifetime of life form Two, if that is counted as Akalmrutai then he has to suffer all the sufferings without any enjoyment. Three, no karma or bhakti in ghost's form, only can be preached. Four, ghost's body has a burning sensation in all the time. Five, has to pass a minimum of starting of 99 lifetimes to 84 lakh lifetimes and that also depends upon his previous lifetime sins and boons. 6. He can't enjoy the material world nor the spiritual world in any sense if he becomes ghosts. 7. He would be always avoided and teased once he entered into life of ghosts. So fearing all these so-called truths you should fear the reality and get to it otherwise if all these are truth then all you is to suffer the pain and nothing. And always think that God is with you just think of it because with this probability of zero of the death in the scale, we can't say help from others will be available or not. And also think that if truth is that thing that can't be hidden for so long then would the so-called no God exists be so much within the material world. In this case two cases rise one. God doesn't exist. Or two. The material world is fully false and illusion totally as it is believing in the false thing right and God also says that this is illusion where we are living that means the contradictory thing that God doesn't exist extinguishes out because the or thing has got vanished right yes. And see this world as it is made by a creator, then we see that something that is very much heavily packed intelligent being has created it, right as it is very much heavily complex then question yourself that would that fellow intelligent being would have made just a tiny space for ourself and all the space just blank with no creatures or beings or entities living, it is just impossible so he says that the Brahma lock which is false and totally false is only one fourth th of the whole multiverse and 
All the other three-fourth of the whole multiverse is enjoyment space and the question beyond God that who made God is not in your matter because Vedas also don't know about it so please forgive this but live in the present moment and think the enjoyment that is three-fourth of the multiverse packed with infinite varieties would be. And that is also with just intense love towards God and nothing nothing else just pure love simple right yes of course. Getting God is easy but forgetting and hating Maya is not easy. Here, in this material world you we exchange suffering instead of suffering that is, your suffer this much course of education we would give you service to material pleasures that are ultimately sufferings, yes maybe sometimes it could be pain or not, but yes sufferings is, we often mislead suffering with pain but no suffering is present everywhere in this realm but pain may be or not be, but God is telling exchange love or happy being towards me in exchange of pain, you really think how benevolent he would be, wow just wow. If you think that the saints really know all these things as their subconscious mind had that type of mind then it is no because first it is said that they got all these knowledge through God and if not then the creator or God would not have made this knowledge to get into that long way of time to many more in the running time or the thing that lie is lie and that is not permanent would be a lie itself right, yes it's right rethink it. And also mind and soul both are subtle things that scientists are not still able to prove correctly and fully by yes partially but still we know that they are there in our body right. In our ancient texts it is written that, soul is greater than mind, then think if scientists are not able to prove mind fully then how could they prove the soul and then the ultimate reality Vishnu. Really wonder. Right. And if you're thinking that soul is the mind and mind is the soul then you are wrong because then why the conflicting behavior between ourselves between some two things arise when we make decision and then take to each other, right it should not have been in this case we won't require then, any motivation but not is in this case. If there is like electric signals in our brain is intermixing and then the thoughts are coming then who is the controller of the electric signals to be mixed in the right direction to generate a specific idea, right this thing is also not the scientist is able to prove now, right. And one thing that a karma is not accepted by soul so it feels guilty you just sit at one place just sit that means you are not feeling any pain that is to relieve yourself from pain you have sat or you are awakening up no it is not only sitting in normal condition after some time of extension your soul will become like I feeling guilty and that happens at the time of masturbation okay that doesn't imply that you would do it quickly because that will also cause issue with your soul because the mind will take this time of masturbation as pure inactivity and will force the soul to believe that there was a long period of inactivity that means to avoid it you should know to completely control your mind and obvious you would not then want to masturbate right okay then if you have learned how to control mind then you would not masturbate that is the thing you should know that means we can know that mind acts as time dilation thing to dilate time into our soul when it is inside the time fabric but as you know it is part of God it can go outside of time fabric then the mind doesn't work there and that is where you reach them or the residency of the Lord.